Welcome to another Demarcation Media Hall video. Today we have a really, really interesting set of things to look at here. So we've got some sets up here to look at, and then there's this box down here. And I'll explain fully what this box is in a minute, but I don't actually really know what's in here. Like, I have an idea, maybe, but I don't really know. So we're going to kind of go in order of size here and we're going to start with the smallest package or smallest yeah i guess it's a package it's not a shipping package but it is a package we're going to start with the smallest one right here so our first item here is a halo heroes figure but it's not just any halo heroes figure this is the series one master chief in mark four armor so this guy is the halo Legends slash ford unto dawn chief and I got this from Jacob Hoffman. He watched my video of comparing Freds and heard me say I was going to have to track down one of these chiefs. So he went and contacted me through Facebook, said he had one, and then just sent it to me completely free of charge. I, I'm kind of blown away. Like, this is not an easy to get figure. And he just straight up sent it to me because he liked watching my videos like what an absolute legend look at this it this looks like it came straight off the shelf so huge huge thanks to him uh i now have both of the existing halo legends figures now i just gotta wait for kelly to come out but yeah i'm going to be doing a review on this guy because how could i not i mean he's sealed we can look at him from inside the package all the way open him up and take a closer look so Keep your eyes out for that, and again, just want to say a huge thanks to Jacob Hoffman for sending this guy to me. I really, really appreciate it. Next on our list is Fireteam Rhino. So I've gotten a couple of the Fireteam sets recently, and I think by the time this video comes out, at least my Fireteam Crimson review will be out. I teamed up with Simon to do kind of dual reviews, get them out on the same day, and... Eagle was the other one that I did. I think Eagle should be out by the time this video airs. Maybe not. I don't know. But something interesting caught my eye about Eagle. While I was looking online, I noticed that there seemed to be an almost identical set out there. It was looked like Eagle almost exactly. And it's this set right here. This is Fireteam Rhino, but it's almost the same as Eagle. And so I was really intrigued, and I just kind of was looking around on Mercari one day and I saw a sealed Fireteam Rhino for like 20 bucks. So I was like, oh yeah, let's go. So I grabbed it and here we are. So I want to do a review of this and then I think I'm going to do a comparison between this set and Fireteam Eagle. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And I love being able to see the packaging because like I said, I wasn't collecting when these fire teams were coming out. So I didn't really get to see the packaging very much. And it looks awesome with Halo 4 Chief off to the side. Just looks really cool. We got our Soldier Spartan in the window. 117 pieces. Very nice. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. Especially because we got another set of Promethean weapons. And I'm always down for getting more Promethean weapons. Now we're getting a little bit bigger here. This is the Assassin's Creed Chariot Chase set. I won this in a bid for like $40, which I think is close to retail, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, it's a really good price because right now, if you were to go and buy this sealed, which this is sealed, it's just a little beat up. Um, if you were to go and buy it sealed on like eBay, it'd be anywhere from $70 on up. So I'm pretty happy with this. I really like the Assassin's Creed sets. I only have one right now. So I saw this and I was like, you know what, might as well give it a try. Went for the bid and ended up winning. And this one in particular is really cool because it has a pair of horses. And I have yet to actually get a pair of horses. So, or any horses for that matter. So that's pretty cool. And this box honestly was way bigger than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be a small set, like, you know, $30 box size. But no, it's a really big box. And the box art looks really cool. We got Ezio over there. His face all in shadow. And then around the back, we get to see some features of the set. So I'm looking forward to reviewing this one as well. This one right here, this is uh, like the most rare of the Assassin's Creed sets. Hatham's Pursuit, Hatham's Pursuit. I don't know how you pronounce that. 
But yeah, it, it's too bad that the Assassin's Creed line is over. It definitely had some fantastic sets. And it's in the same scale as Halo, which means they match pretty much perfectly. So now we get to the fun part. This was also part of a bid that I won, or this was a bid that I won. And the bid listing said five pounds of Mega Constructs or Lego or something. It's like something like that. But the pit, all of the pictures showed the Call of Duty like um, Hummer set, like the big Humvee. And it did not look like it was sealed. It had like duct tape or whatever on it. But I said, you know what? What the heck? I'm just going to go for it. And I honestly, I think even if the set is sealed and complete, five pounds seems like a bit much for that. So there's got to be something else. This could end up being just an absolute loss, and there could be um, just nothing but random junk in the Call of Duty box. It could end up being just that set, and maybe they measured wrong. Or it could be that set and other stuff. I don't know. But I figured it would be a pretty good video opportunity. So I jumped for it. But this box barely fits in my studio here. All right. Let's see. The big reveal. Okay, just as the picture showed... Good grief, this thing is absolutely jammed. What the heck? Oh my word. Uh, you get to see the inside of the box. Okay, I'm gonna have to rearrange this because I can't get this box past my camera. So uh, yeah, this is what was in there. Whoops, I bumped my camera, okay. We have, it looks like some instructions. Yo, wait a moment, what? Wait a second. So, yeah, that's the set. But there's way more than that set in here. Way, way more. And there's also some instructions here for the Night Ops Gauss Hog. Wait, what else, what else do we have in here? No, no, there's a tank? Okay, so we have, we have instructions here for the Night Ops Gauss Hog and the tank um but the box shows this light armor firebase that's what this supposedly is so let's check out what's in here so like i said i have no clue what is actually in here i see a dinosaur tail sticking out all right the moment of truth. Wow. Okay, there's some random... Yo, there's some Destiny figures? I see a pink energy sword. A uh, protector who is built wrong. What the heck is that? Wait, what are the... What is that, a leprechaun? <laughs> what? There's a jackal. A uh, dinosaur, another dinosaur, an old recruit, more dinosaurs. Hey, look at this! Spartan Madsen. Fancy seeing you here. Okay, so score. Pretty. That's a pretty good score, I would say. <gasps> Yo, look! A Warrior Series uh, Mark IV. Was that a Mark IV? Wait, that's a Samsara Armory... Um, Gosh dang, those stink bugs. It's getting warm here where I am. So now the stink bugs are coming out. Yo, that's kind of cool looking. This is an old art figure, but dang, he looks kind of nice. Uh, There's definitely pieces of a tank in here. Pieces of a ghost. <gasps> Yo, look! Decimus! Okay. Wait, this is actually the... This is actually the Night Ops Gauss Hog. And there's both figures here. There's definitely some Call of Duty figures in here. Uh, what is that? I don't think that's Mega. Oh, 
Yo, what? Okay. This is awesome. So this is the hunter, the void, void walker or something. But the bow, though. I've been wanting to get this bow for so long. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It looks like his hand isn't in there all the way. I might have to do some work on that. Oh yeah, there's the, the stand. Wait, is that another, another warrior series Spartan? We got a ghost. Okay. Oh, yo. Yep. Here's a Samsara armory head. There's another warlock head. Um, a needler. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's for the Spartan. Um, what the heck? Is that a transformer? Oh, there's an old AR. What the heck? There's so much randomness in here. Another Destiny stand. Uh, I just saw a Lego Chima crystal. Interesting. There's a railgun. Yo, is this a transformer? I think that's a transformer. Hey, look, that's part of the, uh, what is that, the Oni, like, VTOL thing? Ooh, look! An EVA. Very nice. Uh, oh, here's the Gauss Hogs cannon. Or most of it, anyway. What the heck? Somebody taped up this Call of Duty guy. Why? Oh, there's a leg. That's a little bit morbid. Uh, okay, so here's the hood of the Firebase uh, armor thing. Ooh. What the heck? Who built this dude this way? Let me put his helmet on properly. A Storm Elite. He's 100% complete as well, it looks like. Very nice. Oh, wait. Yo, hold on a second. Hold up. Wait a minute. There's a... There might be all of this VTOL thing. Um... <gasps> the Knight! The Knight is in here! He's a little worse for wear, and he looks like he needs some arms, but he's here. Oh, uh, there's another jackal. Ooh, wait a moment. Here's one of his arms. What is this, another transformer? What is that? Uh, a plasma grenade. Big stand, a... Ooh, shotgun, Destiny shotgun. What is this wrestler dude? He wants to square up. Oh, wait, look at this. Painted needler. Wait, I see a hand cannon. Here's another needler for our uh, warrior Spartans. Hand cannon. Looking nice. There's a flashlight. Okay, I think that's all of it. I'm checking inside the box. That is indeed all of it wow okay uh wait is this so here's the what this is the knight's other arm but that is not the knight's sword that's like an optimus prime sword or something so let me go ahead we'll pop this on like so where did i put his other arm here we go wow he's huge so I don't know if the actual sword is in here, but we'll, we'll see. Oops, I'm breaking it. So here is part of the, the Gauss Hog. Um, like that, I guess. So we got that. It's very broken at the moment. Oh, wait, yo, hang on a second. We have Madsen's sniper rifle. Look at that. At least I think this is a Madsen's. It looks like it. I have another Madsen, so I'll, I'll pop him out to take a look later. But that's very cool. Very, very cool. We have a crate here from the... Uh, what is this from? I think it's from the truck. So the tank definitely doesn't have all the figures, but we might be able to build the tank itself. And that's kind of the important part. What are all these random little wrestler dudes? And there's a bunch of dinosaurs. Oh, hey, look. Here's another wheel for the 
Also, wait, this thing has lights? Oh, that's why it's called the Night Ops, Gauss Hog. Interesting. Uh, okay, wait a moment. I'm building this wrong, aren't I? I don't really know what I'm doing here with trying to put these together. There's a lot of randomness. This guy is definitely not put together correctly. He's got a shotgun, though. He's got, like, a Call of Duty diaper on, though. Uh, there's a piece of our armory. Here's the base of our tank. And look, all the wheels are still sealed right here. So that's cool. And then this is our treads, I think. It is. Yeah, we got both our treads. So I might be able to assemble this. Um, we have a Covenant container. Let's see, we got some weapons here. Maybe we can put that in there. Uh, one of the plasma launchers, a dark blue beam rifle. I don't remember ever seeing a dark blue one before. We'll go ahead and put that in there. Got some seats. What is this? A boot? There's so much random junk. Uh, there's an arm. Kind of weird. Here's a jackal. So my camera died. Of course, it always seems to die at the most inopportune moment. But... It's been charging, and while it's been charging, I took that opportunity to kind of sort through a little bit in here. And it looks like, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to build this because it's missing, like, the windshield, I think, and some other important pieces. But it looks like there's a lot of the tank in here. I think I might be able to build the tank, unless there's, like, one or two crucial pieces missing. So that's pretty cool. The ghost looks like it's mostly complete. Uh, I don't know if I built this entirely correctly. And the other gun is in there, but its clip is broken, unfortunately. There's definitely pretty much all of this in here. It looks like the peg broke, so I'm going to have to pry that out. So I can't put the leg, uh, leg wheel on here until then. But look at this. It still works. How cool is that? I've never actually, like, gotten to use a Light and Sounds Megging Structs thing, so this is pretty cool. So there's that, and then I went through, and over here in the figures, there's a whole bunch of the Call of Duty figures. We have both Decimus and Madsen stands. Whoops. Uh, which this is actually great because I have the new version of Decimus and I wanted to do a comparison to see, you know, kind of how they stack up to each other. But I didn't have the old Decimus, but now I do. Also, I checked the price, like what I ended up paying with shipping and everything in, for all this. And it was 30 bucks. 30 99 was what I paid for all of this. So I would say that this is a pretty good, a pretty good haul pretty pretty good um what's the word i'm looking for here um it was a pretty good gambit because i saw that and i was like well it could be complete or it could not be complete let me take my camera off of its stand so you can just kind of see there's a lot of stuff in here i'm pretty sure that the the tank is going to be close to complete um, I found the other, like, red thing for the VTOL, or however you say that, but it's unfortunately broken. Oh, yeah, and over here is the random pile of dinosaurs and other junk. Uh, this is a Megatron, and he's, like, really, really loose. Yeah, wow. I'm, I was not expecting this. There's that EVA, blind bag EVA. I think the big old AR is his. Oh, yeah, I found a, uh painted plasma repeater in there uh, what else did i find that's a weird piece that goes to the like eight uh, not atv the uh hummer goes to the hummer there's two nets in here there's this giant net absolutely massive camo net and then there's um a slightly smaller one there's a bunch of sandbags wait i just did I just toss that over there? I did. I'm trying to find the other one. I thought I had another one in here. Monkey. 
don't really know what this is from. But yeah, there's... Wow. Again, I was not expecting this. That Elite looks fantastic. I don't actually... Is this a Stormbound figure? Is that what this is? Stormbound? And then, of course, we got our uh, Warrior figures, which is pretty neat. Here's the Samsara Warlock. And then I'm really, really hyped about this Hunter. I found his arrow as well. Like so. I don't know if it's 100% complete. I don't think the Samsara Armory is because I think the other set of armor might not be. Or maybe that's what the, the black one was. But yeah, this dude in particular I'm really happy about. I've been wanting to get this bow for the longest time. I'm definitely going to have to do some work on him because it looks like his hands are coming out. And that's a problem. They don't want to go back in. Uh, where did it go? I had... There's a couple of these jackals in here. And there's this. I don't know what the heck they were doing with this guy, but they taped him all up. And so now he's all sticky and gross. That's going to be interesting to clean up. Um, I had... Where did he go? This guy's energy sword is pretty cool. Here we go. Here is the other... Come on, get out. What the heck? It's stuck. Here we go. Here's the other hunter head and the other hunter chest plate and the shoulder armor and like straps and stuff are in there too. So, wow. Ah, uh, dang. <laughs> I'm... Very, very surprised. It doesn't look like the knight has his, his, um, his, like, uh, sword arm. Did he come with a watcher? I don't know if he came with a watcher in this set. Oh, there's the, the VTOL thing on the back. Oh, that's where the blue Spartan came from. Interesting, okay. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be able to fit the other sets back in here. Dang. I would say that's pretty good for 30 bucks. Well, there you have it. That is the haul for today. I think that this is pretty darn good. Like, took a bit of a risk because, like I said, I didn't know what was going to be in this box. And I would say it turned out pretty good. That that was impressive. That's, wow. I, I'm i a little shocked that all of this was in here. Like, seriously. Hail Heroes figures. Some really great blind bag figures. Like, this, uh, this EBA is fantastic. He's not even, like, really dinged up or anything. His visor got a tiny ding, maybe. And that's it. Um, yeah. Really, really cool. And the other sets too, Fireteam Rhino, really, really interesting that it's basically a remake of a previous set. Really looking forward to reviewing that. Really happy to have another Assassin's Creed set. Those were great sets. And then the Series 1 Chief, is I'm still kind of in shock that I actually have it. So again, huge, huge thanks to Jacob Hoffman for just such a legendary move. I'm like, I, I don't even know like how to properly close out this video. There's just so much. Dang. Well, I think I'm going to be sorting through these pieces for a little while. I would like to get this tank built. I think I've got all the parts. So, yeah. I'm going to do my best to get that thing put together. I don't know if I have like all the figures and everything, but if I can get the tank put together, that'll be pretty darn cool. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.